today I'm going to show you uh, one helpful tricks uh, you can use when you replace uh, backlight LEDs in LED TV so uh, so this TV actually uh, so this is the model number of this TV it's 50 inch smart uh, Samsung star smart TV uh, so this one has a uh, LED backlight issue the three the, the upper side of the the screen is dark so I removed the back panel I understood uh, three line of these three lines uh, not working let me show you that turn on the TV yeah it, it, it's turn on only these uh, three lines so these three lines six lines these three lines are not turning on so uh, actually I uh, what I did I uh, first I would turn off the TV because it is not good to turn on the TV with this uh, on the bed uh, so uh, it will uh, heat up the uh, the component in the back side so I turn off the TV so uh, so what happened actually first I noticed this LED it is see uh, this one is completely burned so this is the issue actually this LED is burned so these three are in the same uh, line so that is why these three are not turning on uh, so uh, what I'm going to do now I have uh, this two LED strip this one from uh, Sony TV and this one from TCL 3V so actually I'm going to use this this one is a little bit similar to this lens so I'm going to uh, cut one of these LED from strip and replace this if I removed this one so this completely burned for some reason so normally what I do I uh, I can't re remove the SMD uh, LED uh, and replace this one I don't have a tool for that that is why I'm uh, I actually I already cut this lens from this this end so this one I'm going to replace this one here uh, so actually I can remove this lens and I can paste this lens because this is the matching lens for this uh, panel so if I uh, use this lens this is from different TV so the result is you will see a white area in the screen when you use different lens if it is not matched with this lens lens so what we can do we can remove this lens not the LED lens and paste the original lens here but in this TV uh, we can't do that because this lens is burned so if you use this one the still you will see the dark area or white spot in the uh, panel so I'm not going to use this original one I'm going to use this lens it is a little bit different so now you will see a white area in the screen so I'm going to show you how to prevent that uh, there is a trick to avoid that white area if you if you are using a different lens uh, for uh, different TVs so uh, first I will paste this one here and solder uh, the the LED then I will show you how to uh, avoid the white dot in the screen uh, so actually uh, how I actually I, I have another video which uh, showing how, how to uh, mesh uh, check the LEDs in the 
LED individual LEDs in, LEDs in the strip so you can use the uh, diode uh, checking function and in here this this strip actually it is very easy it has connectors clearly marked on this the strip like this this one so you can check like this this way see see the leds lighting up if i turn off the camera's flashlight you can see how the led is lighting up like this so if you change the direction this way so uh, this is the positive side this is the negative so when you replace this led uh, so this one you need to identify the direction first you you can't measure it here the similar led is this one so this direction uh, so this is the positive side so the this led i will find the direction no this way so you have to use this way this the anode this the cathode this the anode this the cathode so i'm going to use this one and solder this end to this end this end to this end then i will show you how to avoid the white spot on the screen when i use this different lens okay now i'm going to solder this one first uh, in here uh, to avoid short circuit here because it has a copper back so you can paste this uh, insulator tape here I already cleaned here to avoid any short circuit I cleaned it and then I'm going to apply some glue in this area then apply uh, insulator tape then apply glue here okay you can check like this if you need to make some adjustment just adjust like this okay now it is in correct position now i'm going to solder it Okay, after you apply this sheet uh, remember to apply this it just there's a lock small locks around the edges if you closely look at uh, see this one has a small lock so you need to apply that lock uh, like this if not you will get some reflection and it may cause to see some white spot white or black spot just apply all the lock
you can he hear a tick sound when you apply the lock properly like this okay uh, now I'm going to turn on the TV Yes, now all the uh, LEDs are working. Uh, if you closely look at, you can see the different the light level different between this one and this one. Uh, let's apply the white seat on top of this and see whether we see some white spot around here. If we see white spot, uh, we can uh, uh, prevent that white sp uh, spot using a trick. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm applying the sheet here. apply this lock properly okay now before I fix this plastic I'm going to turn on and see whether we see some bright spot here then we can adjust that okay if I turn on actually unfortunately this camera because of the refresh rate of the screen the in camera you can't see that spot spot uh, in the screen actually there is a spot in here uh, I will take a photo and up add to the video to show you how it uh, works so this is the way I am going to fix the issue I can slowly open this one and So what I'm going to do, I'm using this uh, permanent marker pen uh, to reduce this uh, white spot area. So this is the one I changed. So in here, there's a white brightness. So what I'm going to do, I'm adding the black dots around here like this. like this just to get the brightness level here in close to the LED add more dots here uh, there's a gap between the large gap in here but in close here just add dots then uh, like this way this will reduce the reflection from this and the dark a cre will create a dark area relevant to these LEDs. Now the brightness level is uh, linear in between these LEDs. So you can clearly see it here. Then what happened when I apply this? Actually still you can't see in the video. Now I can clearly see 
there is no difference here the whole screen is uh, the same color white color so there is no white is spot anymore if you see white spot again just go back here and add more more uh, black dots to reduce the uh, reflection here so that is the way if you change the uh, LEDs and if you still see some white spot here that is the way you can uh, uh, remove that white, white spot uh, you can use that tricks uh, remember one thing uh, here I will turn off the TV it is not good to turn on on the bed uh, uh, because the boards are getting heat uh, so uh, what you need to do first add uh, few number of dots don't add more dots directly then close and observe whether you see the black bright spot then go back if you still see the white spot add more dots and again check and go back uh, that way you can uh, uh, add uh, the the dots uh, as you want to uh, remove the white spot if you add more b black uh, dots again you will get a, a dark area here which you cannot remove if you accidentally do that in wrong way just use a white pen and delete some remove some back black uh, spot to get back the screen white again okay uh, that is the trick i want to show you uh, i will uh, i will uh, get a photo and attach the video because i, I can't uh, uh, record the video because of this refresh rate you can't see the actual white spot